Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and uh, I'm joined here by my friend Paul, who is in the Q&A, and obviously not just here to come be silly and answer questions with me. It's he, the best part. It, it's fun stuff. But he has developed something really cool, and it's part of a, a larger project that he is working on that is going to be amazing when it gets done. He is designing, uh, well, these are the first prototype, and it's a bracer that holds a katana mag. And the goal is to make it really easy to, one, have extra katana mags in, you know, random places that you normally wouldn't. But if you were running, say, um, Heath Heal's Uzis, you could reload off of this just by bringing it down on the top and pull it right back out again. So dump your magazine, slap this on, and be able to carry on. You could even have it, I suppose, going forward yeah, if you really you wanted it, to it and well. slap it in. Um, it's obviously early prototype phase. Um, uh, if you wanted to be able to actually truly slam it down, you'd probably need to have something on the bottom or something that catches. Um, either just have a, you know, a stop on the bottom, what have you. Um, but the goal eventually is to make it an extremely modular system so that you could have these mag holders that are attached to molly, they could be attached to rail, they could be attached to your bracers. You could also have different size holders for different size magazines, one for regular mags, one for rival mags, one for the katana mags. And so whatever loadout you're running, you'd be able to attach your magazines to your bracers as a quick reload off of your arms. Um, or have them mounted onto your vest in such a way that you can just bring your gun down. Just slam down. Um, slam down and, and reload. Um, I actually have my war load out that way. I went to singled mag holders instead yeah. of doubled mag pouches. So that way you can So actually, that I could reload yeah. a, a strife one-handed without having to... Uh, actually pull the magazine out. Yeah, so I could dual wield and just be able to ro reload or... At that time, we actually still allowed shields with strifes, and then we realized then that that was thoroughly broken. Yep. And so now we only allow non-magazine-fed springers with shields. Okay. Um, but you would still this would allow you to do a wield or to have a melee weapon in your hand or whatever. You could you know have both hands and still be able to reload a magazine blaster. Exactly. And that's kind of which is like I, brilliant. I got the idea from cosplaying stuff, um, and that's kind of where my space was at. But also, I thought you know you could look like John Wick. While you're right. just like sitting there reloading your your two pistols or whatever the case is, or right? Laura Croft with her reloading yeah, backpack yeah, kind of know, thing, and, where and that's the goal eventually is where I want to have modular designs, like you said, that you know you can buy like the back piece, right. and then you can add a rival attachment or a katana mag attachment to it or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. That way, you don't necessarily have to have like a tactical vest if you don't want one. Right. You know, you don't have to have a bunch of magazines sitting on your body, where maybe you just want two katana mags on each arms and you're a sniper right you know that way you're going to have 30 darts on each arm plus the 15 in there and you're going to have 75 darts as a sniper with just two bracers mm -hmm. and you don't have to have anything else on you if you didn't want to um and then if you have an uzi attachment you could add more from there you know things on your on your legs or your sides or anything i thought that would be just kind of cool yeah and if you, you know? could actually attach magazines to places other than a chest rig yeah. you could fire you could reload from prone yeah which exactly. is a, a real issue when you've got them all, you know, I can't lie down in my loadout because yeah, it's just platooned with everything. On, yeah, everything. Uh, but if you just basically. had them on your bracers, yeah, you could easily pull them or pull reload them from there. Exactly, and that was kind of the yeah, idea. Yes, definitely just... something for a, a super light, which isn't my area right. of expertise, but there's a lot of people who do yep. like the super light loadouts. Yeah, and, and, I, and uh, I, would, I haven't been to a war recently, but like, I like the super light loadouts mm -hmm. where... I can either dual wield or a single sniper springer or something like that, and I'm carrying enough ammo for that. And that's how I always played paintball. Especially where, in these temperatures, you don't want a vest on. They're flipping heavy. Yeah, and uh, I know that. And this, speaking of that, yeah. we have a, a ventilated version, so that it breathes a little bit better, as opposed to having you know sweaty arms. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, this one is broken. So, yeah. Uh, but printed bad. It printed but. bad. Um, but eventually, I would love to print these in ABS or in PET G, so they're a lot mm. stronger. Um, you're not going to have to worry about it breaking or warping or anything. And then also be able to print, like, I have a translucent blue, I have a translucent yeah, yeah, red, yeah. you know, have all these really cool colors for whatever loadout you want. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing around with different, like, even translucent black is a really cool thing to print with. So I was thinking, like, kind of a ninja loadout. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you can pretty much run whatever you want. So that's, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I thought they were super cool. I um, wanted to show this to you guys. And then I wish we could have had a the Uzi ready. Right, but that was very sad. But it's <laughs> missing a part. Yeah. Right now they're they're printed right into the bracer. Yep. Uh, but we were discussing making it so that you you print the bracer and it has some kind of an attachment system and then yeah. you attach whatever you want and then 
I would I would love to see these designed the way um, Ari Armory built my hammer shot holsters, mm -hmm. which is you attach the different attachment styles right. so you could have it one that attaches it to this, one that makes it attached to Molly, one that goes on just a perfectly regular belt, right. a one inch belt, a two inch belt, whatever. Yeah. Um, so you know, ones that are at 45 degree angles, ones that are straight up, so yeah. you could have you know, a bunch of them coming up on angles on a yeah, belt where you can just, just again, sh 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 slam down yeah. the gun onto an angled one and just pull it out. That sounds like fun. Um, and, that's and the modularity would be awesome because then you could buy the one kit it costs a little bit extra because it has all the attachments, but then you'd be able to attach it to anything, so as opposed anything. to be able having to buy these no, ones only atta yeah. attached to Molly, these ones only attached to that. Because I, I wouldn't want um, anyone to have to buy like six sets of bracers. Just like, they so they could have all the different... Yeah. yeah, that doesn't make any sense. And it's like, as of now, since it's PLA, I can't really print as attachments yet. But once I switch to Pet G, I can do like the nice clicky... Like it's going to yeah. have a nice snapping feel to it where it snaps straight into the bracer. Or See, now I saw things. somebody had... Hammer shot holster. Somebody mentioned there. There's another one who makes hammer shot holsters, and I can't remember the name of it. But they're a super minimalist hammer shot holster. Okay. Uh, and the hammer shot clips in, and then it's got molly attached to it. But they designed hooks that hook into the molly that turn it into a regular belt attachment. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. could have molly permanently on here, but those that hook it into belt, and then have those same style of hooks upside down on here, so the molly clips into this. I got it. Yeah. And then easy release to slide off. Okay. Uh, that'd that be one sense. way you could you yeah. could. Again, have it uh, all the all the different worlds, and also um, with <clears throat> with this, I was thinking on my way over here for heavier loadouts, like what you like to run, is instead of just having this thinner bracer that's kind of the lighter loadout, instead you could also design it to where it comes out just a little bit longer, mm -hmm. so that way you can attach a separate sidearm here or another right. magazine or whatever. Uh, someone on the channel had recommended a a secondary clip that could attach to the bottom, depending on your arm size, and you could attach a tactical rail. Right. And then pop another... Which is know. actually similar. I, I am planning to do some arm-mounted stuff in the future. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I hope to have some stuff up sooner rather than later, but my printer is down, like I said. So that, which is sucks. a tragedy. But um, I'm hoping eventually to maybe get something like this crowdfunded. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that can happen in the next couple of months. I'm really working towards it. So if you guys are interested, um, keep an eye out on Captain's channel because once the modular stuff is ready, I'll definitely be bringing it by for him to try out. Yeah, so, and I will definitely yeah. shout because I want that. Yeah, because uh, the I'm, modular I'm stuff I'm finally is getting into Katana Mag. Somebody has sent me files for printing my own. Oh, nice. The only thing I need is the spring. Okay. So if anybody out there knows a source for the spring for a Katana Mag, which um, I can get the dimensions. The, the trick is um, the weight... Because yeah. real magazine springs are incredibly heavy. Mm -hmm. And this has a grand total of a half a pound yeah, of spring load. Nothing. So it's nothing. So I need a rectangular style box spring for a magazine, but it needs to be incredibly light. And I haven't been able to find a source other than getting them custom made. And then yeah. it gets prohibitively it's expensive unless expensive. you buy them by the thousand. And then at that point, you may as well just uh, buy the Katana mag. Exactly. Yeah. At that, so that's the trick, because I want to be able to... I need a source. So if anybody out there has a source for a Katana mag spring, that would be awesome. That we would need if we want to, to, to start making on our own mags, which would be handy. Okay. Because um, right now, we just Katana mags and then the Katana mag adapter that came with it. I got mine from Out of Darts. Uh, he carries them. Um, and I needed to get one anyway because I want to do both the... Um, the Uzi. The Uzi. Yep. Heath Heels Uzi, as well as Devil Z Nerfworks... Um, Strife. Strife, which yeah. can take both full-size magazines or half-dart magazines with the right adapter, but it needs the, the for the forward adapter. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Whereas like the caliber doesn't need it because it's just a breech blaster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. But I, I, of course, you know, you've seen my load. It's absolutely yeah. absurd. But there are some places that don't have anything on them. Yeah. And having something where I could attach magazines that I do, would just be fabulous. Like, yeah. Like I like the idea of having them on your your, sh your shoulder pauldrons or oh, your yeah. bracers, and just you know. It's, it's just for fun. Yeah, especially like, with the Uzi loadout. To be able to just flick the, the magazines out and then just load from your arms yep. is just the neatest idea. I was thinking about talking to the guys who did the Kronos holster. The the ma the, the holster, the yeah. The holster, right? And something similar where you're attaching some kind of a magnet or whatever to yeah, here. What, but what, what's going on here? So that... Just to completely derail you. That's for flavor. Fla oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't, we can't not have the flavor. That's for the flavor. So this is just taped on because I was lazy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just it's uh, this is entirely three D printed and obviously not remotely safe, but it would n be nothing to make that out of foam. Yep, 
And uh, uh, it was just, you have to remember, he is from the cosplay world, so not everything that he builds has to be functional or practical, but he wants it to be eventually. Yep. And uh, uh, so I thought that was just, it's part of my cosplay. I kind of took the idea from another build I was looking at, and I was like, you know what? Let's just put a dagger on this bracer, because it's yeah. kind of kind of cool. And actually, I I always set it like that, so that way you have like this giant sword oh, sticking yeah, yeah, out yeah. of the... Hello. Yeah. Pretty much. And you can take it off and snap it back on however you want. And it's mm -hmm. just, it's for fun. But yeah, I mentioned this in my video when I showed these off. It's plastic, it's allowed at a convention, but you don't want to ever run that and look at Nerf. No, obviously not. That. But yeah, you wouldn't you know, want a metal knife at a convention. So. Exactly, yeah. So, so that's totally both. safe for just show, but uh, if you do I anything like the, else. the blade design. Yeah, I actually that made that. Design. I made that in uh, Fusion. Cool. It was pretty cool. I took a reference image that I found on Google. I typed in, like, samurai swords. Found that one and uh, popped the picture in a fusion and designed it. So it was, it was relatively easy, surprisingly. Very cool. But yeah, like I know you keep like swift justice with you or whatever. You could always have yeah. another, you know, sidearm or whatever. So that was actually side. I originally had swift justice. I put Velcro around the base of the blade and then had Velcro on my vest. And I could mm -hmm. stick to it, but it, it didn't hold well enough. Yeah, I didn't have enough Velcro. Yeah, um, even so, magnets might be a little. It'll it'll pop off. Or give it, yeah, when you when you're running, I it fell right off the first time I charged in yeah. Jared's epic nerf battle. Uh, and then from then I just kept it in a, a mag pouch because I didn't have magazines with me. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah. I would like to, I'd love to get another Swift Justice or the Axe. The Axe is fun. But the problem is I, I they, they the, were in Target for like a week and then disappeared off the, the I really face want of the earth. The, the uh, what was it, the Power Rangers sword or whatever? That like the N Force sword oh, or something. Yeah. Just stupid. Uh -huh. I, I made a uh, I made a, my own foam sword, but it has a wood core so I can never use it. Right. You know, I'm I'm gonna probably make it out of polycarp, whatever it is, uh, is it fiberglass? Fiberglass yeah. is what we usually core make with. It, make it out of fiberglass, and then I have my own sword, but I 3D printed the hilt. Oh. So the hilt is very durable, and the sword is modular. Oh. So I can just stick in a new sword whenever I want, just add the thumb screw, and then boom. If the sword breaks, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Out, make another foam one, call it Brilliant. a day, pop another one in. So, yeah, that's kind of, you know, I, I love doing crap like that. It's just so much more fun. Um, but, yeah, guys, if you guys want something like this in the future... Give me your feedback, because this idea stemmed from someone who had just mentioned it. I was making the bracers anyways, I was going to make them out of foam, and one of someone who had uh, mentioned on Instagram was like, why don't you add a katana mag holder to it? I was like, that's a great it's idea. Like, and, I uh, have no... It's like, yeah. yeah. I have no idea. Some of my best ideas came from fan comments. Yeah, exactly. You know, things where they're like, you should do this. You're like, yes, I, yes should. I should, and I just go and do it. And other ones are like, I'm penciling that down for the far future. That's an awesome idea. Yep. And, and everyone's... But you also get lots of comments who are like, you should do this. No. no. <laughs> yeah. And so for this, I thought it was a great idea, but it's also something that like we could use in another setting. You yeah. Know, that doesn't have to be cosplay driven or whatever the case is. Like I said, you could just use it in your caliber and setup if you just want extra darts. You know, uh -huh. an, emerg an emergency dart round or whatever the case is. Um, I think uh, it has some use in the future, especially once it's modular. Yeah. Especially once it's modular. Especially once you can get a whole bunch of them, attach them wherever you want, or print mm -hmm. your own and be able to attach them or. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Once the files are ready, um, I plan on either putting them on Etsy or whatever the case is. So if you guys want to buy the files and print them right yourselves, or you know, you could eventually purchase a bracer whenever that happens. But uh, I need a couple of printers, so I'm waiting yeah. to see if I can find some funds for printers first, and then kind of move from there. But so I'm excited for it. Awesome stuff coming down the line. I I like armor and I like modularity, and you have created functional modular armor, which is just. Cool. Yeah, it's all for fun. Yeah, that's all it's about. But yeah, guys, I had, you know just wanted to make sure you guys kind of were kept in the loop because these will eventually be modular enough to fit on my arm-mounted cannons. So that's what the idea is. So you'll also be able to have you know your rival cannon. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, and yeah. It'll integrate the locks to add rival magazines to that yeah. as well. So that way you can have you know three rival mags on the top of your arm-mounted cannon, and as you're firing, you can just take one out, put one back in, call it a day, and just keep going. Nice. So it's, you know, trying to have some fun here. That's yeah. what it's about. That is what it is all about. And uh, not only that, but uh, eventually I'll print and or do something where it'll be team colors. Mm. So I will have, on the Kickstarter that I'm trying to start, you can eventually purchase your own set of bracers, like a team of five. You get 10 bracers with all the attachments, but every bracer would be branded. 
so you could have your own logo on oh, the bracelet. Oh, right. You send the, they send a logo to you and you have it printed into it. Yeah. Cool. I either print it I was going to say, it. you could just put you know Velcro on it and then just have colored patch strips. Right. But no, no, no. Like, you can add your own logo yeah. to the design um, as long as it doesn't hurt the, the integrity of the bracer. Um, either that or every single bracer attachment is going to have a flat piece on the top where it'll be a vinyl cutout of that mm. team's logo. You could also do it, again, the way RE Armory did mine, where it would be a plate that just screws on. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So then it's not altering the this itself. You yeah. just get your own little team plates. Right. Where it's, you give me the logo, I put it on there, I slap it in, we print it out, oh, and you get right. it. Yep. Um, more modular. And then hell, they could, they could just put it on patches. They, they could do it wherever they want. Yeah. You could, again, do it as a patch. Yeah. So then they could put it on here, or they could put it on... And I think yeah. that would just be a lot of fun. You know, yeah. If you have... 3D people. printed team logo yeah. patches would be it's super exactly. simple, much be, easier than uh, you know making actual stitched patches. Yep. And um, for, I mean, the vents might come in the way, but I'm trying to work with the design to where you can, like, you can 3D print your logo into the yeah. design. There's also design. a beautiful little flat spot right there exactly. to put a logo on. So yep. that was the goal. So you could do it on the outside of each magazine if you felt like it. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. modularity. Yeah. Thing. Man. It just gives you options. It does. I love it. Sweet. That is awesome. So I definitely look forward to seeing where this goes. I definitely want some, especially if I get a pair of those Uzis because the ability to reload, reload, just yeah. Look out cool. for that. I will have, so you guys know um, as well, I will have that Uzi done in the next in the near, in the in the next near. couple of weeks. Um, I've just had some issues with it. Yeah, we discovered but, uh, one part that hadn't that didn't get printed, yeah, so we, we couldn't actually build the interior. Build it, so that was like, unfortunate. Hmm. But uh, I will have the MHP-15 with the sword attached to it in the next... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it has to have a sword. It does. You know? I'm probably going to put a bayonet at the front of my caliber. (laughs) (laughs) Let me know what you guys think of this. This is Paul. Yep. And What's uh, your channel? So it's Paul Kariakos. Um, Link will be down below for you guys as well. But uh, my new website will be pktech.net coming up. pktech.net. I don't know if it's up now, but I'll put the link down in the description anyway, and you can complain that it doesn't go anywhere until suddenly it does. Yep. That's how it works. Awesome. So good to have you. Yes, sir. Love having whenever you got when you come by. So much cool stuff, and I really look forward to this. So you got it. Let's go like adult or something. I don't even know. I've been adulting all day. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, guys.